Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trail RV in Frederick, Colorado, and we appreciate you tuning in this morning. So we have a 2022 Cimarron North Star four horse living quarters behind me. This is a real unique trailer. This is a custom build trailer, so it is sold, uh, but very unique. We wanna show you these type of trailers. Uh, that way you can just kind of see some of the things that we do and maybe give you some ideas as well. Before we get into this trailer and start walking you through it, let's take a look at the, the drawings on this so I can give you kind of an idea on how the trailer is laid out and some specs on it. So again, it is a four horse. This is a, a again, a living quarters. Uh, it is eight foot wide. It is 28 foot three on the floor and it is seven, seven tall. We have a rear tack, a hay room. Uh, it is a reverse load setup on this. So very unique load, but also an air ride trailer. And on the living quarter side of it, again, a very unique setup. This was a complete custom build, but what we're looking at is an eight foot six short wall living quarters, and then we have a four foot offset. Now we do have that hay room that we're working with on the back side of it, but we'll walk you through and, and show you again how it's laid out and how it's optioned, because it is a very unique trailer. Again, it is sold, uh, but this is kind of the fun stuff we get to do is we get to sit down with a customer, take their ideas, put it on paper, uh, a lot of communication back and forth. We like doing these videos too because we can show you different options. You know, we can take a trailer we videoed before with maybe certain pieces this customer wanted and send them to you and you can watch them, see how it lays out, see it in person rather than just on paper. I mean, on paper is good, but hey, let's. this is the finished product and this is how it looks. <clears throat> so when we're looking at this trailer, First and foremost, it is a living quarters. It's not a massive living quarters, but there is some weight there when we are dealing with an outlaw conversion because of the hardwood cabinetry. So she opted for the single leg hydraulic jack. Real good option there. I mean, it's very easy to use. It's push a button up and down. It's very responsive as well. It does have a manual override. So if you do get in an emergency situation or a, a down battery, something along those lines, we can jack it up or down. Now to the right, I want you to notice those two legs that come out. These are actual generator brackets. So if she wants to take a portable generator, it can set right on here. Uh, you know, it's not equipped with an onboard generator, so she can do a portable right here. You know, a, a 4,000 watt uh, generator uh, will do everything on this trailer that you need. We actually sell some Onan portable 4,000 watt generators through our uh, parts department. So that'd be a good option there. Above it, you've got a aluminum battery box. It is, you have the capability to lock it. So it's kind of keeps those batteries out of the elements and, and keeps them nice and clean there. Now to the right, I want you to notice that is our self-contained compressor for the air ride system. We'll talk a little bit more about air ride in a little bit, but a very simple system to use. It's on off, it's, it's raised, it's lower, and then on the bottom is a cable to actually drain the air out because air can create condensation and can freeze, crack a line, and do damage to the system there. But very easy to use, good setup underneath this gooseneck. Nothing too crazy, but I do like that they put that generator bracket. So instead of maybe lugging it in the back of the truck and moving it around it's there you can strap it down and then it's on the trailer itself when you're when you're trans in in transportation <clears throat> i'm going to point out a couple things that are standard on the 22 models first and foremost i want you to notice the button lights the button lights are now standard on 22 models rather than the rectangular a little bit you know they kind of protrude and stick out a little bit these button lights are give it a real clean look they put out a lot of light, they're, they're LED, so they, it's not a big power draw. And then also the frameless windows. Again, a cleaner, sleeker look. Frameless windows are standard on the living quarters starting on the 22 models. So a couple things like that that, that Cimarron's always working on trying to improve these trailers. Now, again, an eight foot six short wall, not a big massive living quarters by any means. This is a outlaw conversion. And the reason why it's an outlaw conversion is because we are uh, dealing with a very unique setup here. Um, again, we're not, we're not dealing with a pro line where they have their set standard layouts. And then when you go to these customs, you wanna do an outlaw. Now with that, you do get a three year warranty. So that's fantastic from the standpoint of, if this microwave we're looking at right here or this refrigerator, 
has a one year manufacturer warranty. If Outlaw puts it on, they cover it for three. So they really stand behind it. But again, unique. As you come in, here's kind of a kitchen sink, a little bit of storage, again, a microwave directly above it. Actually, they went with a 6.0 refrigerator and freezer. So, you know, normally on these size trailers, you're going to have the smaller refrigerator underneath the kitchen sink. Uh, but they opted, they wanted a big refrigerator and freezer. So that's kind of a cool setup there. Again, you can take a lot of stuff with you. Double clothes rod closet here. So to store a lot of clothes, you can do that. Up in the neck, you've got a TV. It's on an arm, it is a flat screen, air conditioner. Uh, again, just a very unique setup from that standpoint. And then as you work back behind this kind of kitchen sink area, they've got a toilet and shower combo back there. So again, they've got the capability to, again, carry some food with them, prep some food with the microwave, you've got a sink, and then you do have an actual bathroom. So again, on these type of setups, you know, it gets a little bit tricky sometimes, you know, getting a seating area, also a bathroom. Uh, you know, you do have to get unique and creative. And this turned out really nice a setup for her from that standpoint of being able to do a lot of different things. And again, on the back side that I'll show you when we get to the other, other side of the trailer, I'll show you that hay room that's kind of directly behind that kind of kitchen area we're looking at right there. Now, right here, again, a reverse load. Now, she opted for the stock sides with plexiglass on the tail side, since this is a reverse load, and then on the head side, we have drop windows. But the reverse load, you know, a lot of times, we kind of like these loads. We also will do a reverse reverse load where we do the same thing, but horses load on driver's side and then face uh, curb side back here. But again, they're facing backwards or on that backwards angle. And we like it because, you know, more than likely, one of the things that's really going to be an abrupt kind of change to the horses as you're driving is braking extremely hard. Obviously, we have to watch out for people, you know, cutting us off or things like that. <laughs> Get into a traffic situation where you have to hit your brakes abruptly. If you think about this, the way these horses are loaded, their butts are ahead of their heads, the way they're loaded. So a lot of times, and this is feedback from a lot of customers that have, have camera systems in these, is they say you'll notice those horses get their butts underneath them and they set underneath themselves and kind of brace themselves in those, in those situations. And then again, it's not their head and shoulder getting thrown into a wall. You know, they can kind of brace themselves and their hip is gonna go into the partition wall or into the dividers. So again, these reverse loads are very unique from that standpoint. Again, we do that reverse, reverse load to where we can also get their heads away from street side. But you extend this ramp a little bit beyond. And the reason for that is, is you have to think about how these horses are gonna come off this trailer. Because of the angle we're working with, as they make this turn and start coming off, they're gonna naturally kinda come down and kinda work this direction. So that's why we need to extend this ramp forward a little bit in this scenario. <clears throat> now, we build this first stall a little bit wider because again, we're trying to get horses to transition out of here. But this is a really cool feature as well. I want you to notice is if this was a solid divider, the way it extends right now is look at this angle right here where a horse has to get turned. But we've gone in and taken it a step further and made this first divider a breakover divider. So now it breaks in half, goes against the partition wall, and then as I start opening these up, they all kind of lay into each other as well. But now look at that transition for these horses to get out of here. You know, now they can get their hip turned and get their shoulder kind of back against that partition wall and come off that ramp a little easier. So really cool setup there. Also, as we step in here, worm flooring. So they went with the black, that standard worm flooring. But this is a really nice option from the standpoint of now you never have to pull mats out of this trailer. You can just power wash it, muck out your solids. It's permanent, it's unpenetrable, so it doesn't allow urine to get down to the aluminum itself. Which in my opinion, I mean, pulling mats is like wrestling an alligator anyway, but when we're dealing with these angles and going off this side ramp, it's a little tough. It's not our straight shot or our more traditional load where we can just pull in and out real easy. 
Uh, now they she doesn't have to worry about that. Very easy cleanup from that standpoint. So stud divider at stall one. So the stud divider is really good option too because of additional storage or if you've got a problem child, you can kind of put them in that stall up there. Padded dividers as well. But these slam latches are really easy to use. You know, they're a lot safer for you, a lot safer for the horses because now we can just push them over, lock them into place. Everything is, is flush wall mounted as well, nothing protruding out. So, you know, even these paddle latches and the way the cast aluminum piece it's powder coated, you know, everything's got a radius. So they, they don't even cut these at a 90. I mean, they put a radius even on those. Taper the fenders, so they taper up. And then in these corners, a lot of times this wheel well will be squared. You have a 90 degree angle here. They actually go in and taper that as well. Now, when we're <laughs> looking at a Cimarron, every single trailer comes standard with an insulated roof. They build them all the exact same. <coughs> Excuse me. So this insulated roof does make a massive difference in especially the heat. Uh, we like showing customers when you come into the lot here in the summer months when it's 95 degrees on this asphalt, it gets really hot. So when you step into these horse trailers that are all sealed up, I'll take you to a trailer with an aluminum sheeted roof, and then I'll take you over to a Cimarron with this insulated roof, and you will tell a massive difference in the temperature. It really does make a difference in these. And then you have two-way roof fence, so you can manipulate the airflow in here. There is also LED lights. Since it's a four horse, you get standard four of those as well, and then the switches are on the back. And as we work out of the trailer, you also get a head pad as you come out. So if you do have a horse throw a head up as they're backing off the trailer, that's going to protect them as well. So on this, these stock side gaps here, these air gaps with the plexiglass, all these Cimarron's with this type of a setup will have this little notch kind of built in. And that is so you have that track for that plexiglass. So you can slide those in and out very easily open it up get a little bit more airflow there is storage for these plexiglass pieces in the back tack that i'll show you but we're not dealing with a lot of plexiglass on this trailer it does you know when we're dealing with our larger stock trailers i always recommend to customers carry a sharpie and a roll of masking tape or painters tape in the back in that tray because as you take these out i want you to keep them kind of in order because it's just going to save a lot of headache when you go to put them back in so if you take out the upper in this instance obviously we're only passenger side but if you take out the upper tape them together right that set them in there same with the lower so then when you go to put them back again you're not having fumbling them around trying to figure out which piece goes where it's just a lot simpler from that standpoint you get some exterior tie rings. Tie rings can always be added. We can do that uh, after the fact if you wanted more added to them. Since it's a four horse, you're gonna get standard four per side in this model itself. And then now let's talk a little bit, kind of circle back around to that air ride. So these are two 8,000 pound rubber torsion axles with a shock kit and then the air bag, uh, the air ride system itself. These air ride trailers ride phenomenally well. I mean, it is unbelievable how well these trailers pull. Uh, the ride for the horses is incredible. We spend a lot of money. We spend a lot of time with these animals. Let's try to give them the best opportunity to co go compete at the highest level when we get them to a show. It takes away so much of the road shock itself. Uh, again, it does, I mean, we hear countless stories from people. One of the best ones I've heard is a, a company actually came they've got a supply trailer with air ride uh, but what they had was they had a coffee cup about halfway full your general morning coffee cup they set it on a counter and they drove from iowa here to colorado and it didn't spill a thing so that's what air ride can do and now think about what it's doing for our animals so it is a upgrade so there is some investment there but i'm telling you what it is an investment you're investing in your horses your, your equipment uh, it really does make a big difference there. Then what we're also dealing with is we've got 17 5 inch wheels, 16 ply tires, so really heavy duty wheels and tires underneath this. These 8K air ride, it's plenty underneath this trailer and this setup. You also have a bolt on fender. 
So Simran, from the standpoint of maintenance or if we do some damage to this wheel well and we need it replaced, we're not having to spend as much in labor cost because it's bolt on. You know, it's not welded on where you have to have somebody cut it off and re-weld the new one on. It's unbolt it, take it off, do your lights, put it back on, bolt it, silicone, you're good to go there. So nice from that standpoint of being able to, uh, you know, save you some money if there is those type of things that you have to do to this trailer. You also are backed by an eight year structure warranty from Cimarron and then a three year hardware. So that's your, your nose to tail. And when you combine that with an outlaw conversion, it is the only trailer manufacturer and conversion company that covers the trailer for three years, nose to tail. Now there are some that will do a three year craftsmanship warranty, but not on those appliances like I was talking about. They usually have a one year, but this is a true three year nose to tail on this trailer. Now, since we are reverse load, we see this quite a bit on a lot of inventory and a lot of builds we do is these full width rear tacks. There's multiple setups you can do on these. You can do the single door like we're looking at or you can do double doors. It's really up to you and really how you want it to function and what type of options you want to do. But I also feel this is also safer for the horses because look, if somebody happens to rear end you, you have this whole area back here before it even gets to a horse. So from that safety standpoint, I do like that. And then also this is so cool. You can carry so much stuff in these full width rear tacks. So everything's carpeted, even the door back here that we're looking at, it's got a four tier blanket pole rack on a gas shock, brush tray on the door for smaller items. And then you can reach in and grab a swing out saddle rack. So you have four pads on there. These are all adjustable as well. And you can, you can do other things to it. You can add more if you'd like, you can add more saddle uh, excuse me, blanket bars to this. You can change the sequence. You can slide them up and down. It's very easy to use from that standpoint there. Again, everything's carpeted. You see the hooks on the partition wall. And then up top is that tray for the storage for the plexiglass that we were looking at. The step at the back also makes a big difference. Uh, this trailer we actually have aired up right now. So it's actually two and a half inches higher as far as the ride height compared to when we drop it and lower it to the ground. So these steps make a nice, nice uh, just feature from getting in and out of these trailers into this tack room, whether you're carrying stuff or carrying stuff out. Uh, also, in my opinion, when you are loading items like that or loading horses, more importantly, I like to have this trailer in the lower position because when we have it two and a half inches lower, that step's not as tall, but the ramp for the horses isn't as steep. So let's try to help them out as best we can. Now, as we get over here to passenger side, again, there's our drop windows. So again, she had plexiglass with the two stock sides on, on the hip wall, and then here on head side, we have these four drop windows. You even have a drop window in your escape door you will notice that it's a little bit smaller. That's just because we are dealing with the door and an opening and we need the framework to go ahead and have that properly installed there and from a functionality standpoint. But you can create a lot of airflow through these. You have the jail bars as well. So if you need to drop them down, put a bucket of water in there, you know, throw a feed bag in there, you can do that real solid seal to these. Again, just massive framework on all these doors and drop windows from Cimarron. These are items you're gonna use every single time. So why do we wanna go cheap and have a prefab window or very little framework that something could happen? I mean, we want these to be solid and stout. You also on these have a welded hinge with grease dirt, so easier to maintain from that standpoint. The rod that runs in here actually has grooves. So when you feed grease into it and you open and close these, it's literally trying to grab it in those grooves and force it throughout this whole uh, hinge itself. And then you've got three bay doors as far as mangers go. So a lot more storage on this trailer from that standpoint there. You do have some lights in here. And again, these are big framed same thing, welded hinges with grease certs on these. 
The other cool thing is, is all these handles are key to like. So we can lock up <laughs> this entire trailer with one key. LQ door, mangers, drop windows, tack, even the horse compartment, all with one key. Now, as we move forward, we talked about it on the other side. On the back wall of that is a hay room. So she opted for no hay rack on this, you know, no pod, nothing like that on the top of the trailer, but here's a great place to store a lot of feed, a lot of hay. It is 36 inches deep and it's eight and a half inches on this wall. So the wall we're looking at here. And then obviously we have some angles there that we have a little bit of an offset. But boy, you can sure put a lot of extra stuff in there. Again, a lot of hay, a lot of feed, other little miscellaneous items in there. It's just kind of a blank canvas in there for you. You also have steps going in there as well. Think about that. That is about an eight inch gap between the top of that frame there that we're looking at on the bottom sides of the doors compared to those steps. So you go from ground level clear up there, those steps make a world of difference. We can add them to trailers after the fact, uh, but when we're dealing with running boards and things like that, it gets a little bit tricky. And these eight foot wide trailers, it's very easy to do. We can add those uh, to other trailers as well. We can do a lot of stuff to these trailers after the fact. I mean, if she came back and said, hey, I do want to put a hay rack or a pod on there, we can. If she wants to do a rear ramp. For some reason on that rear tack, we can do that. A lot of things can be done to these trailers after the fact, but this gives you a real good idea on some of the real interesting and cool concepts that we're doing. We're doing so many of these custom build trailers. It's unbelievable. We love showing these. Majority of them are already sold when they show up, but we do like to video them. So again, you can see these and maybe get some ideas or say, that is exactly what I'm looking for. And you can call us up, reference a stock number, and then we can pull up the information on it, tell you, send you the drawings of it, and figure out what it would be to get you a new one. So let's take a look at that. I'll give you that stock number. So again, this one's a 2022 North Star Four Horse Living Quarters. That stock number is 5N210681. So give us a call. Anybody on the sales team can help you out. We can build something. We do have some inventory here. We've got new and used. We do take trade-ins. We do buy trailers. So feel free to give us a call. That number is 303-684-3400. We appreciate you tuning in and have a good day.